Regalia of the Three Sacred Stars disappeared for a month because the uh, producer said that the quality of the show was too poor. Now, nobody, act, like, viewer-wise felt that the quality was too poor. And while some people did say that they saw some animation errors and some skips and lag, blah, 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 blah. You know, it was being pretty well received for its story, which I thought was coming together. And we got four episodes through when they said we have to pull this because it's not meeting, as I said, their quality standards. So, now it comes back and it does have some scenes added into the first episode and I didn't notice anything new within the second episode either, but I'm going to talk about both. Uh, I will say that this time around, um, the interconnections between Yui and Reina, who is Magna Electo, the featured red mech of the series, come off a little more friendly and sisterly as before is seen to come off almost lesbianic which that's fine I mean but it's still a matter of this is how you know it's being portrayed but in the opening for the recut there is a fight involving Magna Electo as well as other characters that we've met in the previous four episodes and it's more fleshed out. It lasts, um, I'd have to say, two or three minutes longer, it felt like. And I did watch the original cut versus this one, and there is more going on. It's, and you get to see a little bit more action, a little bit more what's going on, and you're being drawn into it more. So that's good, like there's more. That's the key word. And when we go through the episodes, when we go through the story again, as I've stated, it comes out more natural, and I can see why they did the recut, and it works. It's just that for the very minimal that they added, they could have just waited for the DVD release and said it was director's cut. But I am waiting eagerly for episode 5, and who knows, maybe episodes 3 and 4 will offer up more as far as the editing and quality that needed to be improved. Um, again, I think I've said this before, I'll say it again. It's a 90s-esque anime, but it's got modern technology behind it. The art style is still amazing. Uh, my only complaint, and I really forgot about it until I watched it again, so it can't be that big of a deal, is the rosy cheeks, like up here by the eyes, like the rosiness. I can't, Oh, They're not porcelain dolls, they're people, but that's just the world they're portraying, so. So, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see my other reviews for uh, Reality of the Three Sacred Stars, do check them out. You can find them on my channel, where you should be hitting that subscribe button. And also, check me out on Facebook and Twitter.